This is a big week for the men's basketball team as the Cougars host 21st ranked Iowa State Wednesday night at the Marriott Center. The Cyclones upset number seven Michigan at home on Sunday. BYU head coach Dave Rose back with us tonight. Good to see you. Thanks. It's good to be here. When you put your schedules together, you love to have ranked teams at home and not many will sign up. Well, here comes one. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's difficult. I think that uh, uh, the last couple years, you know, we've had a few. I think we had Wake Forest in here a few years ago and Baylor a couple years ago. Um, and this Iowa State thing came together really late last year. Uh, they, we had the date, they had the date, and it didn't really fit for our group last year, but we went out there, played the game, and I thought we competed really well. We didn't, we didn't play real well, but uh, um, the fact that we're getting them back here, uh, being ranked 21st in the country, should be really exciting for our players and uh, our fans. First, non, or first ranked opponent that's not in the WCC in Provo since the Baylor game a few years back, and that was a big one. Iowa State gets that big win at Michigan. You've got a big win at Stanford. What do you learn in the Stanford game that might help you Wednesday? Well, I, I think that uh, the games could turn out to be pretty similar because Iowa State really likes to push the ball, and they have really good three-point shooting guards. Um, for us, it will be, uh, uh, you know, how we handle the emotion. I think that, the, you know, those, those big games at home especially are where guys really need to find themselves early because, uh, Basketball is a, a game of skill, and you can be, you know, pretty revved up, and uh, and sometimes that doesn't really help you. And uh, so, but we've got experienced guys in our backcourt. The frontcourt guys will just have to kind of feel through it. How about Tyler Haas? If, if the fan base could ask you a question, be will, will Tyler be ready? He sat out the last two with a lower abdominal strain. What do you expect? Well, I know Tyler really wants to play. There's no question he wanted to play <laughs> last weekend. Sure. Um, and uh, I think he's feeling a little bit better. But uh, you know, for him to get actually cleared by medical staff to, to play and you know, practice first and then play. We'll just have to wait and see how the week goes on. Uh, I think that uh, the one thing I do know about Tyler, he's one of the toughest guys we've had around and played through um, you know, a lot of things. But this is a tough one to play through. Yeah. The only way you're going to heal is to rest. And it's a long season with a lot of games, and we need Tyler in the majority of all those. Iowa State's the immediate future. Let's talk about the distant future. And this is a, this is a great time for you and your staff as you have announced your recruiting class and, and you read up and down and, and so many other teams wanted these guys. Uh, so I know you're, you're very happy. Well, this was a, <clears throat> a, it's a great class. And, you know, the, the, the kind of the interesting thing with BYU fans is uh, I think we're spoiled when we have the players for a long time. But it's also pretty frustrating when you sign a player and you're not going to see him for a long time. Yeah. And that's kind of where we are with the majority of this group is that uh, they're going to serve their missions first and, uh, and then they'll be here. But what a great class. I mean, what an absolute uh, great class. Give all the credit to my assistant coaches and how hard they work. Um, but the commitments that these players have made to BYU, uh, it's a special thing for us as coaches. Let's start with Peyton Dastra. He thought he was going to go to Ohio State, actually told them he was going to go to Ohio State, and then he thought about it, didn't feel good about it, called you up and said, I'm, I grew up wanting to be a Cougar. I want to play for you. Well, Peyton is a, is a guy that we've known for a long time. He's come to our camps when, as a youngster. and um, <clears throat> It seems like, you know, I was talking to his dad this morning, and it seems like we watched Peyton play in almost every state in the Union <laughs> over the course of the last three years. We've been everywhere following him around. He's played on great AAU teams, had wonderful uh, basketball experience and I know he's really looking forward to his high school uh, experience uh, there at Mountain View Mesa this senior year but he is a, a unique you know a, he's got great size good skill level uh, is a great passer for a big guy and I think that uh, you know uh, that will really be a, a, a real benefit to our to our team good rebounder and I, I just think that he's a guy that can run the floor can really play our transition game but uh, we're going to love, the Cougar fans are going to like watching Peyton play. This next guy completes the Haas hat trick. There was Marty Haas, there was Tyler Haas, and now here comes TJ Haas. And I think that a lot of local fans here in, in Provo have seen TJ play. And, um, you know, TJ is a guy who is just, he's relentless. He's on attack. He, uh, he is a great three-point shooter. Uh, he's got a really quick release, has really worked on his ball skills and can penetrate the ball. And, and finish for himself, make plays for teammates. He's going to be able to play multiple positions for us, but uh, he has that same Haas mentality where fast is good and faster is better, and he loves to go. Dalton Nixon, son of former Cougar Kevin Nixon, also joining the program. And Dalton is a guy that's going to give us a lot of versatility. He can 
Uh, he can throw the ball in the post to Dalton and get points out of him. He can stretch the defense by going to the three-point line and beyond. He's got deep range, uh, really skilled with the ball on offense. Defensively, he's really physical. I think he's going to be a great rebounder for us. Uh, and, and Dalton is a guy who you'll see a lot of his father in him because he is a physical player, a guy who has got a great skill set but really likes to get in there and, and, and mix it up and bang a little bit and and that's a, a unique quality in, in a player nowadays. Jake Toulson has a Lange blood in him, <laughs> and uh, Ainge blood has worked great at BYU. Oh, well, we're so excited to have Jake because, you know, Jake is a guy who just his basketball IQ is really high. He, he loves the game, passionate about the game, uh, can make every offensive play you need. He can score in the post, he can dribble drive, uh, he can shoot three point shots. Uh, he plays point guard at times for his high school team where he's out front with the ball making plays for his teammates. Uh, and then def defensively, he's physical, really physical and anticipates really well. He's got uh, uh, really good basketball instincts to him. And, and I think that, uh, you know, Cougar fans are going to love watching him just because of his ability to score. He can go for, uh, you know, 30, 35 points in a game in high school, and he probably will quite a few times this year. Ryan Andrus brings you some size out of American Fork High School, not far from here. Ryan is a great runner for a 6'10 guy. I think that's what we're going to really uh, <clears throat> use the most with him is that he's a guy who can run, get us started in transition. He's a good shot blocker, uh, can really score with, with his uh, back to the basket, but he's a guy who's really developing uh, that 10, 12 foot jump shot. And, uh, you know, he, he scored a lot of points uh, last year as a junior and looking forward to a, a big year. But he's the guy that, you know, as a coaching staff, we might most be, be most excited about because <laughs> we're actually going to have him on our team next year. And, yeah. Uh, and, and then he'll serve his mission and then return in, uh, two years from there. So great class. A lot of work has gone into it. We, you know, we spent, what, four or five minutes, sure. you know, just talking about those guys like that's uh, going to happen. And, and uh, we spent three, three, four years on some of these guys getting them to come. And so uh, I'm really happy for our coaches and for our fans because it's going to uh, be great watching these guys play. Some guys coming back from their missions. Jordan Chapman will actually be in the in the roster. Jordan's going to give us a, some real versatility because of his skill set. He's got great size to him um, and can play that point guard. Can handle that position. I think he can play the one, two, or three for us. He's a really good perimeter shooter. And Jordan comes right in, uh, you know, next year. In fact, he gets home uh, pretty early. I think April, maybe the first of May. So that's a. Uh, uh, a good time for him to get home to have enough time to get ready for the season. Isaac Nelson back. And Isaac gets home, uh, I think, in, in late December. And um, so hopefully we'll have him enroll at, at, at BYU and then kind of get on that missionary return, you know, return missionary track as far as getting him back in condition. But he is long. He can run. He can catch. He'll be a real dominant low post player for us on both ends, defensively and offensively. And uh, we look forward to getting him back. Good job. That's a good group. We look forward to seeing them play on BYU TV for years to We're come. all excited about it and, and can't wait to get them back. Coach, thank you. We'll see you Wednesday night. All right. Thanks a lot, Dave.